Good afternoon, Mets fans. Actually, probably more like good evening by the time I get this uploaded. But I'm dropping in with a late edition of Driving with Mr. Met. I am Mr. Met, and it is 5:30 on Friday, as I on the, the Friday the 9th of March as I record this. And uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about what happened in today's game and uh, make a few comments and suggestions on uh, one in particular item. And that in particular item is a dumpster fire that we all know and love, and we like to call him Hansel Robles. So today the Mets played the Detroit Tigers in a spring training game, um, another away game where there was no Mets coverage of the game outside of watching on, uh, watching quote unquote on game day. And uh, I did sort of follow along with the game today, and it was good to see Steven Matz get off to a good start, uh, lowering his spring training ERA to something like 15, uh, which coming down from a 50-plus ERA is an improvement. So Matz uh, seemed to have, at least from what I could tell from uh, watching, seemed to have uh, better control of his stuff today. Uh, I'm interested to see what he actually threw. I don't know if there will be any highlights available anywhere, but I'd love to see that. Uh, the Mets had a uh, had a lead in this game as they've had um, for most of the spring training games they've played in. They've gotten out to early leads only to have um, those leads squandered by the bullpen. And uh, in particular, today's culprit um, seems to be the culprit more often than not uh, when it comes to giving up runs, and that is Hansel Robles. Yes, Hansel Robles in his 13-plus ERA this spring, um, picking up right where he left off last year, uh, giving up home runs at an unbelievably alarming rate. Um, you know, Hansel Robles was a was a good bullpen arm for the Mets in 2015, and he's showed signs of promise. He's got some life on his fastball, but as anyone who uh, who covers the game and who, who's played the game. Uh, Etc. will tell you uh, if a fastball is straight, it doesn't matter how fast it is, um, someone's going to hit it. And at this level, Hansel Robles is like the poster child for throwing the ball as hard as you can, not having it go anywhere in particular other than a straight line into the catcher's glove. And a lot of times it doesn't get to hit the catcher's glove because instead it hits the, uh, the outfield stands somewhere. And that's been the story of Hansel Robles over the last two years. He was terrible in 2016. He was abysmal last year, and again, he seems to have picked up right where he left off. And with the Mets bullpen looking like on paper it might be a strength for this team, um, Robles stands out as a, 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 a weak link in that bullpen. And at this point, I don't know how you start the season with him on the Major League roster. There's just no way he's he can be a reliable option out of the bullpen. Um, it looks like the Mets are going to carry seven relievers. Uh, seven or eight relievers, you know, that's sort of the toss-up at the beginning of the year. But with the off days, uh, it's it's probably more likely that they start the season with fewer men in the bullpen, so you're thinking there might be seven. And I don't see how Robles is one of them. Um, and if he doesn't get his stuff together, he's not going to sniff the major league roster this year. And frankly, he doesn't deserve to. And I, I posted something on Twitter uh, earlier that basically said if, if we don't know what Hansel Robles is right now after watching him struggle again, um, I don't know how many more chances this guy is going to get to to show that he's figuring stuff out and learning how to pitch. And it seems like he's one of those guys that's just going to always be a thrower and not be a pitcher. And that just isn't going to work. And you know, there's there's no loyalty to him on the team. Nobody's fighting for him to be on this roster. He doesn't have a, a manager or a pitching coach who can draw from experience in talking with him in the past and say, you know what, he, he's got a solid head on his shoulders. We, we've worked with him before. We know he's he can get through this. He can be a valuable contributor to the team. Mickey Calloway, Dave Island, they don't they don't have that with with Robles. And I don't know I don't know that Hansel's going to have a shot this year. And you know when I posted that on Twitter, I got a lot of uh, got a lot of comments and thoughts and thumbs up and likes and whatnot. But um, one of the comments that I got is something I want to talk about, and it was from my friend Lisa Goldberg on Twitter, who uh, who basically said, "Cut Hansel and replace him with Greg Holland." And I didn't bother to check, but I'm pretty sure that Greg Holland is still a free agent. And 
the, the answer to that question, why wouldn't we do that? I can't come up with a good answer. Again, assuming that, that Holland is still a free agent and someone didn't grab him on a one-year deal already, like what's happened yesterday uh, with Cargo and Moustakas, um, I don't see why the Mets don't take a flyer on Greg, on Greg Holland. It's certainly a less risky proposition than starting the season with Hansel Robles in the bullpen. Um, if, if the Mets could go out and get Greg Holland and add him to that, to, to that uh, collection of arms in the pen, that's a huge get at this point in spring training. And whether Holland is ready to start the season because he'd be starting his spring training so late, we, we don't really know. But again, I'd rather have a, an arm to fall back on like his instead of Robles. Uh, what do you guys think about Greg Holland? I, I personally would love to see him join the Mets. Um, I, I'm not 100% sold on A.J. Ramos. I, I feel like he's um, uh, sort of like a hit or miss reliever who's going to be really good or really bad. And I, I really don't have much to base that on other than what I saw of him last year But as a Met. But looking back at how he was with the Marlins, yeah, he did have a bunch of saves. But I remember the Mets hitting him around a lot. And um, again, it seems like he's either really good or really bad. So I'd love to have someone like Holland, who obviously has closing experience, uh, was really, really good last year with the Rockies, and could, could very well be a great 7th, 8th, ninth inning arm for the Mets. And certainly the Mets can't be the only team thinking that at this point. So I guess the only question is, how much does Holland still want? Is he willing to take a, a really, really cheap deal to, to join a major league team? And of course, we have to talk about cheapness because we are talking about the Mets here. But dude, get him. I think go out and get him. Make, make another splash, a low impact splash, and bring this guy in. Um, yesterday, Mike Moustakis signed with the, the Royals uh, to, for like six and a half million bucks with a $15 million option for 2019. Um, Carlos Gonzalez re signed with the Rockies on a one year deal. So it's looking like these free agents in. Uh, camp not signed or whatever they're calling it, camp no team, um, are starting to be ticked off the list. And Greg Holland has to be toward the top of the guys that are still available out there. So I hope the Mets make a, a splash and go after him. I'd love to see that happen. Uh, but I'd love to hear your feedback on it. So hit me up on Twitter at Mr. Underscore Met uh, or make some comments in the area below this YouTube video and let me know what you think. I will respond to you, either on Twitter or in uh, in this forum here. Uh, next week is going to be a little bit of an off week for me. I'm going to be out uh, of town again um, in a rental car, so I never know what the rental car setup is going to be with where I can mount my phone to record a video. Um, if I'm able to, I definitely will, uh, but hopefully I can follow some of the games and by Wednesday next week uh, be back online to uh, chat some stuff up. So at the latest, you'll hear from me on Wednesday next week, um, if not before. So until then, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And as always, let's go Mets.